and welcome to chapter 8. Chapter 8 in a multi-part Sculpty Paint tutorial. Uh, hopefully this will be coming up on the last one. Maybe not this one, maybe the next one. But uh, we're almost done, so stick with me and we'll get through it. Uh, Sculpty Paint was created by Cell Edmund. Uh, great program, free program. You, if you feel like using it, if you like it, you enjoy it, you use it a lot, please do consider giving him a contribution. He does accept tips. And uh, please, while I'm thinking about it, do buy his pre-made Sculpty Packs because sales of his pre-made Sculpty Packs go to continue, go to fund his Mountain Dew and ramen habit that keeps programs like this coming. All right, we just finished the point tool, or more to the point, we just really touched on the point tool because it's it's both a very useful tool and a very simple tool. Uh, scale, translate, symmetry, uh, step size, rotation, that's pretty much all there is to it, except for this great selection area, which allows you to select an area and translate out a section or set up some, let me go ahead and undo that a couple times. Okay, or set up some symmetry uh, in all three directions, for example, and hit that same thing, and you get a completely different effect. Uh, you can, let's see, tap this out here, and you just get these really neat shapes that just, they're cool. Um, very useful, very handy, especially if you're making uh, machine parts or, you know, science fiction things. It's very handy to have a tool like this where you can just build a strange shape and then import it into Second Life and, excuse me, and build with it. Um, very, very handy. Um, nice thing about this tool also, again, the point tool, is that it allows you to select all and rotate the entire thing around its own axis. So if you determine that your sculpt is loading, uh, when you load it in Second Life, um, you, you determine that it's coming in backwards or sideways or something, you can just as easily tap it in here and rotate it right around and change its orientation any way you need to, especially if you need it to be on an angle so that you can get that stretching in a, in a, you know, in a weird way. And the nice thing about this also is that once you've rotated it a little bit, you can scale it down or up and it'll scale in those those new rotated dimensions, which you can just create really interesting things. Um, really cool. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, last few here. Texture sketch. Now, I'll be honest, I've never used this program at all, this particular tab. I don't know what it does. Um, this would seem to be a paint program for painting textures. Uh, it's got a bake button here, red, gray, save texture, bake texture, okay? Looks like you can output sculpt map textures here. I've never used it, and I'm sorry to say I don't know how it works. Um, this might be a new, one of the new features that I couldn't, you know, I couldn't find, um, but being texture sketch, I've always been kind of off, put off by it. Uh, we do seem to have some kind of a brush here, uh, but of course I can't draw on here. But it looks like I can draw over here, which looks really handy and really cool. K kudos. I mean, seriously, this is um, this is great stuff that you can just draw right on the sculpt here, and then you, I suppose, you can output this texture somehow. Um, not exactly sure how. Oh, here's save texture right here. Um, and of course you've got 3D on, 3D off, not sure what that means. Uh, you can change the texture size to 512 instead of 256. Um, all kinds of cool stuff that I've never played with. Um, seems really cool. Um, so go for that for sure. Uh, when you're playing with this, Definitely experiment with it because it really looks cool to me. Um, let's go ahead and pop back out to our color mode and hop over. Oh, we've been to morph tool. That's of course where we started. Uh, sub tool. Now sub tool allows us to take a selection here 
and paste selected select points in the paste buffer okay okay like so paste selected okay select same width and height this is apparently a still in use thing here paste selected and what we did was we just copied this section here now if we get this model you'll notice that we've created a model that literally just has that section in it which is really cool if you need like something where you wanna I don't know you wanna like make part sphere and then you wanna like have a section here that's from a square um, you can select various parts of other models and you know pop out and then paste in here I, I would assume and then you can get this model and you can of course go back to the morph tool and let's say copy it to B and save it there for then and go back here and then uh, you know keep working on it as you go along um, I honestly don't know what that functions for being called the sub tool I'd say it's for you know subtraction or for uh, working on a small section of a sculpt um, pretty handy all in all, though, uh, I'm going to say that of all the tools we've covered here, because we are basically done, and I'm not going to have enough time to do the little tutorial in this section, so we'll save it for the next one. But uh, as a sort of recap, uh, my favorite tools, obviously the Morph tool, great place to start, uh, very handy for zipping back and forth between two, two models. Um, also, um, honestly, the point tool, probably one of the more useful tools I've ever had in this program. Uh, the stone tool, I like it a lot. Uh, I used to like the arch tool, but I'm not as big a fan anymore because of the, uh, the point tool I've just I've found to be more useful overall for me. Uh, the drawing tool, I've, I've never really had much use for. But the, uh, the stairs tool, and to be honest, the texture sketch tool look like the most interesting, fun tools to work with for building stuff. Um, your your mileage, of course, may vary, um, and that's that's fine. That's you know, not everyone can be the same, and that's that's fine. Um, the thing about this program that I like the most, however, is that it's free. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off for now and we'll see you in chapter 9 for that little tutorial.